Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Seymour119, here to do a tutorial on G-Stomper Studio. So, um, today, we will, well, not today, but in this video, <laughs> we will be learning, well, I will be telling you guys how to do certain things. Um, first we'll start with the polygrid, because you know how I do, I always use the polygrid first. It's like a norm, so we know. Um... So we're gonna make sort of a cartoonish beat. Not no not cartoonish, but more like video game, like techno, you feel me? Um I do trap beats, I do pop culture, I do hip hop, I do I wanna start doing funk, but it's not exactly in my, my in my um knowledge yet, so I'm I'm gonna do some more studying on that. And I might actually update you guys on the video. So I'm going to try to do more G-Stomper videos. I know I haven't been doing that many. But let's get started. So you can hear that sound, right? That sound is the normal presets. So I use normal presets. Um, I don't, well, I just use the, um, a preset with no instrument on it. So basically, you get that sound. Now what I like to do is turn on unison and so take fine tune off um, unison in that and then turn down so go to the very bottom where glide legat glide slash legato is chord mem and arpeggio arpeggio amp envelope and output level and then go where your amp, amp envelope and output level area put the sustain bar nearly right here, right, right, like right at 29, and release sort of like two, two milliseconds, and then the decay right there. And you should get a cool sound like that. I'll make sure to also turn on unison, or else it's gonna sound like this. It, it just gets a, a much clean, cleaner feel. You feel me? So now let's get on with the tune. I'm just gonna make up a tune. Um. I know if it just keep no, it was like this morning on the bus I made um, a video without commentary just to show off like that I make beats for no reason. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what the hell that was, but okay. Something like made it move. I was like, what? Yeah. But I know, um, oh yeah. Something else I also learned is that if you long press loop right here where I just clicked on, um, it'll link edit and play position, which will basically do this. So like say I set on this side here. So the yellow bar is what's what bar is being played. The yellow light is what was where each bar is being played basically. So You can see that it did that. It changes with it. But then you can also take it off. To do that. So it wouldn't show up. It would, I mean, it would just stand. The red would stay in the same position. But if you had it on, then the red would follow the yellow. If you get what I'm saying. Alright. I'm trying to figure out what kind of beat to make now. Help me. Oh yeah, and also um, click on the auto clone bars. You can do however many you wanted. If you need to do all, if you don't care, like it'll just basically however many bars you have highlighted for each thing, like every fourth or every second, or even smart, which I haven't even tried that out yet. Um, would basically make will basically copy whatever you put here will copy onto the bar four bars away from it. For example, I'm about to show you.
Okay. So, you know, you can, you can see that it copied each one. So then we go over here, it also copied each one. I like to do that. I like to be repetitive in my, in my, um, in each pattern set, like on each pattern. So each bar could be different. And like, you can even, um, change it up in between bars, like take this off and like potentially for this part, I put it down here. get that sound it would be it's pretty it's pretty cool so i'm gonna keep that and i'm gonna go ahead and um mess with the effects real quick oh yeah hold on hold on gotta make the uh, gotta make the tune already set with the fx preset and i'm gonna change this the uh, default is x delay but i'm gonna go ahead and change it oh god i should have put it on airplane mode uh, that was my first lady of my church um you guys learn more about more about me but Anyway, this is a tutorial. Let's not talk about that. Right, I want to try dual X delay. Now you can hear that's beautiful right there. see that is really beautiful so um <clears throat> i don't know why i like to do the um polygrid first if somebody commented in a in long time video like a few few weeks few months ago that i made i got like nine thousand views and thank you guys so much anyway for doing that um yeah i feel like i could take as long as i want for these videos because you know my phone will never stop recording when it comes to screen recording but always likes to stop recording when I'm recording my camera. I don't know why. But anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna select Moog Base One. No, 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 I'm not. You got me there, buddy. Come on. PCM Base Presets. Then we're gonna go down to Moog Base PH, and we should get that sound. You know what? I'm gonna raise this up. If you long click the up and down bars on the top left, then yeah, they will um, go up an octave. They will go up a whole octave. I don't know if you guys heard me, but bear with me. Now I'm going to try to match in the chords. You know, since I'm more experienced now, it's going to take me longer to make beats. You know, I was always just making something. I love making beats. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, dude. came up with that name. Don't judge me. And then what I like to do is um, 
add like a link to unison based preset that's not made in, of an instrument it's just presetted by human hands <laughs> I mean all of them were if you think about it they're programmed they were programmed bruh so let's go ahead what is my father doing in the garage Okay, I see you, Clarence. You're doing it. doing this um guys usually hear a lot of um in my beats and i like doing the it's the rpa the arpeggio feature arpeggio i don't know how to say it i'm gonna go with arpeggio it's the arpeggio feature in the um vab synthesizer area basically you're gonna want to uh S make sure it's on sync so that we have equal equal transitioning of an octave so i went and i also put two octaves and i make sure it's one eighth or one fourth of the time and if you want to go real fast 164 and 116 but that's on you guys <laughs> smooth you guys can probably hear a glide in it i always click on to the glide and put the rate very low not too low but just low enough <laughs> showing you guys i was kind of playing around with it i was showing you guys how fast it would sound if i put it up to 164 one dot one one slash 64 or one slash 32 one slash 16 and that's how it sounds but this is my comfort right here and you know what since i always love piano i just love piano i always gotta have piano i don't know but it's whatever you guys love that you guys can play always remember that Make your own thing. Just don't show it to people if they don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's your thing. If somebody doesn't like hearing things, don't show it to somebody. Don't show it to them. If they don't want to hear it, you cannot show it to them. Like it's, I told you no more. Don't do it. It's my. It's a lesson learned. But anyway, let's get off lesson. Get back to business. Um. <laughs> I might actually do a chord for this. sound that I want to make. Alright, come on. Let's do this, man.
we're almost done with the VAB synthesizer ear. Now I, now, I kid you guys not, like, if I wasn't explaining this all, it probably would have been a little bit quicker. I probably, by, by now, I probably would have already, by probably, like, ten minutes ago, I probably would have already done with the, the, um, VA beast part, the polygrid. But, um, no, explaining it takes a lot more time sometimes. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Uh oh. We made boom boom. <laughs> Alright, come on. find some people probably and like my friends like they they actually have the app now some some of my friends have the app and they I find that they have struggling like struggles with this and I'm going to put this up here just for you and for um other people just for my friends and you guys and anyone who wants to see but um if you have a user sample sound for example um you know my new album just hit it just dropped they call me DJ Seymour you probably didn't really hear that that well they call me DJ Seymour. You probably did. So if I can hear it, you should be able to hear it. Yeah, but that's my new um album title. They call me DJ Seymour. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and swap tracks to the bottom of this area. So I've gotten my, I've gotten all that under control. The, the polygrid is, a okay. I got everything that I want. So like, what I like to do is take that off and then put that right there. I do that for almost every one of my tracks. Um, if it's not loud enough, you can always do this. So, like, boost up the volume on the drum machine, the level, and on the note grid, the volume. Then, you, um, if it's still not loud enough compared to the other music around it, you can go to the equalizer, and if you see this thing right here, click on it, they will see what instrument it is, and they state, they call me DJ Seymour. Um, FX insert which is right under the name, then you're going to want to insert FX1, and I like to do um, saturation, because it makes the volume much louder. Oh, let's see. Um, so let's play it. This should work. ashamed of myself. They call me DJ Seymour. Oh, so that does work. Perfect. They call me DJ Seymour. So uh, that's, it should be loud now. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the beat. And this is not a hip-hop beat, so I'm not going to load any um, note presets for the bass drum. I'm going to just take a... I'm going to take a rock bass drum. Come on now. Call me DJ Seymour. They call me DJ Seymour.
They call me DJ Seymour. They call me DJ Seymour. That part was done. I got the beat down. So I used that. They call me DJ Seymour. 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 So I put Norm to boost up the bass drum and the snare drum. That's what I like to be the loudest. Um, always use level and <clears throat> sampler note grids main volume for an instrument to boost up the volume if you need to. I like my volume volumes loud. Um, I love my bass loud. I don't know. But every musician is different. Every... DJ is different, but you know, that's just me. Um, <clears throat> I actually want to make beats for a living along with my other many talents. Um, yeah, it's actually taking longer than I expected. So let's go ahead and load up. I'm going to load up the rest. Actually, that seems like a good one to use. They call me DJ Seymour. They call me DJ Seymour. They call me DJ Seymour. You're gonna shut up now. Yeah, if you <laughs> see if, if certain things get annoying or you just don't want it in there for a certain pattern, you can always mute a track. Uh, that's not what I meant. If you just long click it. And this is T12, um, which is the, the, they call me DJ Seymour user sample. Then you go to, you go to what I just went to, um, T12, and then click on mute. You can also they call me DJ Seymour. Crap, you just click on it again while in this menu, just click on it as soon as to unmute it. You can also do things such as solo, which will, when you play, it'll just, It'll just broadcast to one instrument. Think of it as side chaining all the other instruments without actually side chaining them. I don't know. I'm making a joke. But anyway. Let's add a crash symbol. No, no, no. Maybe a ride symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the length, which is right here. And I lowered it enough to where it'll do this. It'll cut off basically. It'll cut off basically when you hear this sound. So 
basically every time you hear that, it it'll do that. All right. Now I'm on solo these two, these two little babies, and you hear this. Now we're gonna get on to making. This is gonna be a short tutorial, so it's not gonna be a very long song. I actually may make a song out of this because it's pretty good. Um, we're gonna head to the pattern stuff, and I always make, I always make a copy on the very bottom row of D16. Now what we're gonna do, um, what I'm gonna do is click on A01 and set the pattern name, and set intro. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it to AO2. And we're going to have that. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, 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 I did it again. Uh-oh, okay. Um, I'm going to do the default preset of FX3, FX3. FX, I don't know, the sound effect 3. And then you'll hear this. As well as, well as for the instruments too, I'm going to do the same thing. Since it's the intro, you know the intro begins with this. They call me DJ Seymour. Mm, they sure do, don't they? <laughs> so then you're gonna hear this. They call me DJ Seymour. That's basically it. Um, then we get, actually no, to make it more interesting. Take that off. Make sure your auto clone bars is off. At the very end, stop all music in its tracks. At the for the very last half of bar eight for the first pattern, and this goes for all instruments. This is what I you guys probably hear in my own song, my own song. They come. You should hear this. way to do transitions um oh crap hold on set pattern name i'm gonna do one i'm you know i'm lazy <laughs> um don't really have a name for it but i'm gonna go ahead and take that Just keep that and mute of all the other ones. Ooh. Hold up, I just sprung an idea. One twenty seven, this is for you, June Dover. Uh, you guys probably shouldn't look into that. And other other people who YouTube sir. But let's see how that sounds. Real quick, we gotta do this.
beautiful. If you ask me, it is amazing. So we're just going to keep that. Copy. Keep copying. Um, I'm going to copy these two together. This is the fail safe. 4 is the fail safe. AO3 is what I'm going to edit. And this is actually the name it safe. AO3 is the... The, the, the name will be transition to transition to two. So basically, we're going to make it similar to AO, AO2. going to be different about two is that I'm going to add the Moog bass and add in the, snare, the rock snare drum one. Again, do this part. Now I'm going to show you guys how to fully and clearly do recording automations over a preset or a pattern and basically this is coming in handy with like if you want to make something fade in let me first take off fine tune because I hate that crap and I don't need it um so the Moog bass I already got that in so say you want to load this instrument up I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste to fade into three. Fad, really, what is fad? And what is this? This is the fail safe, just in case I mess this up. So then what you what you're going to want to do for yourself is um, go ahead and turn this down. Remember where you had it automated because the next pattern will matter. And then press the record button. And make sure, okay, hold on, like, shit has to go down. Make sure as soon as you press the play button, you slide the dial down as quick as you can so that they don't hear anything. Ma like, make it at least as low as you can. And then do this. recorded. And then you have that. Voila. Work is done. So it should sound like this.
spectacular run. Um, so then the beat gets changed to around here, and the beat goes off. So then I'm going to change this around. Taking all the beats, and then put in, I'm going to take in all the synth presets and put in all the beats. So then it's like that's the end of the, that, well that's the climax of the song, the full climax, so all the instruments come in. That's what I do. So it should sound like this. So all together, you see that's beauty right there. Um, judge it however you want. Um, if you expected hip hop, maybe I should make one for hip hop lovers, trap lovers. Um, I'll make you guys one soon. But for now, this is it so far. Oh yeah, another tool tip: use chain to do this while playing the patterns. They call me DJ Seymour. After that, just change around your um, name for the last pattern you're going to do. Um, I'm not making an ending for it. I'll show you guys how to end, cool ways to end off the song in another video. But um, that's it so far. And I want you guys, um, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It will help us so much. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. I love all of y'all.